Welcome to DC Today this Wednesday, March the 27th, and it's great to be with you here again today on another positive day in markets, generally speaking. Uh, both stocks and bonds were higher. The 10-year actually closed a little lower, three or four basis points on the day, and stocks were higher, and, and those things are all good. There's definitely part of the market that is getting stretched, as we've talked about or spoken about many times, but generally, generally a good day in the markets. Um, Today was uh, uh, the 99th uh, consecutive day that the S&P closed above its 50-day um, moving average. And that sounds impressive, but it's actually happened, you know, 20 plus times in history. So this isn't anything too out of the ordinary. Um, the longest stretch of that, by the way, was in 1995 when I was graduating high school. It was uh, above its 50-day for 257 days. So we're not even quite halfway um, what the mid-90s gave us there, but still, nonetheless, uh, positive action in markets overall. Um, the um, uh, uh, David had a nice section in there. It was about uh, markets performance following, preceding, and then following rate cuts. Um, and it's a good point, which is, you know, when you look at history, there's periods of time that both both occurred you know markets were good leading up to the rate cuts or markets were not as good or or vice versa after the the first rate rate cut but generally speaking it does tend to be a little more buy the rumor sell the news in the sense that markets are you know forward pricing mechanisms and so they they move up in advance of something actually occurring and so markets lead up into that first rate cut and then tend to do a little bit um uh less well uh, just following it once that actually occurs um the um so today is actually going to be a little shorter day uh for me to record with you um but uh, uh not a lot of economic news out on the day um so not a whole lot to report there tomorrow has definitely got um uh, more things going on um with uh, uh jobless claims looks like we've got jobless claims tomorrow uh and uh, a revision to q2 gdp out so there'll be a little bit more to talk through tomorrow and then, of course, Friday, we'll have the PCE data, which will be the most widely uh, watched news uh, for the week. Um, I did mention, and I, I meant to mention it yesterday, but there was a tragic accident in Baltimore, in the port of Baltimore, at the Scott Key Bridge, where a cargo ship has crashed into that. And it's kind of, for the time being, at least closed that area. And unfortunately, it looks like maybe some of those... Uh, some some folks have have lost their lives in the accident, but uh, there is some economic uh, relevance to that with just activity in that port, which is significant. So with these things, I'm going to actually let you go for the day. I do appreciate you listening, even though it was a little bit shorter and sweeter than normal. But thank you so much, and I will be back with you on DC today tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.